everyone. Welcome back to the Tackle Show YouTube channel. We are out doing a little bit more crappy fishing, I think, today. Indeed. We're going to try and see if we can get onto that bite. We caught two last time we were here, but we're going to try and... Nope, three. We got three last time three. we were here. And two. many bluegill. <laughs> and many, many bluegill. We're going to try and see if we can catch on to that really big school of fish and hit that hot spot. So last time we were here, remember they were kind of like coming up closer to 10 feet and biting? Are you still jigging kind of around there or you're still like just off bottom? So I'm not marking anything, so right now what I'm doing is jigging low, bouncing off bottom to try to stir up some silt, and then lifting a foot or two off and kind of jigging there. If I mark a fish below, then I do try to lift to try to get a chase, especially if it's crappy that we're targeting, mm -hmm. they will feed up towards your lure. Well, this thing's What'd really you get? Like, probably a bass, probably a big bass. Oh, <laughs> did I lose? Or did it swim towards me? Ooh. <laughs> Do you want to give me your phone so you don't lose it? Uh, Are you okay? I'm okay. I'll sit on it. <laughs> Is that your bed? It's probably a bass that just swallowed your micro jig? It might be. I kind of got, I want to get over to the hole. Uh. Uh. Yeah. That's a pretty big one. That's a good largey. Oh, it's a jigging wrap you had. Yeah. The pliers are right here for you to go. I got one too, but yeah, sure. There's... <laughs> that thing was fighting. That was a pretty... I dang, wish it was a walleye. <laughs> yeah, I know, though. That's what I was hoping. I was like, oh, come on. But pickerel don't fight that much, I find. Did they just come in dead like a... like a? We call black bass quitter fish. When, when, <laughs> we, when we would... Uh, like troll for walleye we our joke was always ski them in ski them <laughs> like just because they would just come to the top of the water yeah. and you could just pull them big marks yep oh yeah so am i About a foot and a half off bottom yeah there's a school we got marks everywhere from 12 feet to bottom From 10 feet to 8 feet, following me up to 6 feet. When are you going to bite, you quitter? Oh, it's funny. I just marked the fish following you. Did you? Coming up, yeah. When you were saying that, I'm like, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I think that, uh, that whole going for a snowmobile rip just... It just got you really... <laughs> Some extra... You got one. You got one? Yeah. Well, yeah... Oh, littlest. Oh, another guy. Let's see. Another throwback <clears throat> fish. Not even allowed to record it. We can record it. Can't no, stop for can't picture. Can't stop for picture. I know. I'm just kidding. See <laughs> you, bud. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. Like, oh, there's a good one. Oh, no, it's a bluegill. Is it? No. Of course, it's yeah. a bluegill. The bite is on. Oh. Is this considered our first first legal fish? Yeah, I guess. I hope T and Robin are catching some perch out there. Yeah. I told her what the or told them what the guy is in the Don't know how that's looking for you guys. I'm gonna throw him back and do my flasher hole. <laughs> And we got ourselves a tiny, tiny little bluegill. Oh, it's not that tiny. No, it's not that tiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. For this, for this fishing spot that you take us to, it's tiny for here. But <laughs> yeah, it's true. That it'd be a really good one on the canal. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! She still got it. I tried to hit the record button, and let's see what we got. Ooh, another bass. Darn. Down he goes. Oh, just got a bite. Ah, lost it. Oh. I had it for <laughs> five feet. The number of times I have a, I sometimes have a struggle getting, setting a hook on a bass. I can't believe these little micro jigs find their way yeah. to the outside of its mouth. Like they must really turn hard once they suck it back, right? Yeah, I would expect. 
Well, there's a bite on, but it might be a bass bite right now. That's not what we're after. <laughs> like, I guess it's still early. Like, if we were considering, we're kind of on the search for crappy. It's like 5.30, we'd be expecting. Yeah, the last hour of light. And I was going to ask you, is it... Let me just change this up so we're actually our faces. Is Would you think, based on this bottle of water, they come in because they're feeding or they're fleeing other active, like, walleye? Oh, I find crappy on this. Like, I think they're feeding. I think they're, they're feeding. feeding in a group, though. Cause yeah. Because they, they do tend to come through in schools. A killer whale. And there'll like... be a bite on for a few moments at a time. Sort yeah. Of thing. So okay. I think they're circling in a in a pod, so to speak, to use a whale term. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, because I was thinking, I was looking at the, the map just before we, I came out here again today. And this is obviously such a fantastic spot. You would never want to venture more. But I always have that notion where you do want to think about other spots. And I was looking at that island, and I'm like, why haven't we tried there? And then I looked at the contours and went, oh, it's like eight feet. Yeah. It's so shallow, like, there's no point to... They wouldn't They wouldn't channel their way... Th you'd think they would channel through there, but they probably wouldn't. I don't think they do. I think there's... They come through the bigger opening? Yeah. It kind of stays flat out to that island, and then it only drops to about 20 and stays flat for another little while before yeah. it drops into so this massive 50-foot big... bowl. Yeah. Oh, oh, crap. Mm. It's hoping you're recording. Are you actually catching the hole? You're... Oh, well, that's a doozy. That's a good one. That's, that's a good probably one. the biggest we've got here. Really? Pretty close. Do you mean like just you and I or you as a... Yeah. Like, oh, I was like, you probably caught bigger ones. I do kind of want to call them like a hog because they're like a pretty big panfish. Mind you, in comparison to the ones we have on the wall at the Harrison Center, I think I kind of... Or even the ones in the tank at the Harrison Center. Oh, two, two of them are absolutely nice. Like hogs. Oh, the bite's on, I think, a little bit. Figure out what it's doing. The way this fed, I'm guessing, bluegill or a perch. Little baby bluegill. Oops, sorry. I was thinking of there. It's funny because the two I caught from the last time, I went and took them to Adam to see, and he's like... You'd be splitting hairs, but it, there might actually be some hybridization going on in here. With that color? Not with the color, but with the, the patterning. Like, bluegill very specifically have blue all the way to the outer extent of that gill plate. Oh. Where there was like a white hazy outline where it's transparent. That's indicative of a hybrid. Oh, okay. I don't. And he's like, in all fairness, you can't, you can't determine it without doing some like actual testing. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Got okay, it. Let's give it a Home. Little more fight. I think it's a bluegill, I'm gonna guess. Or would it just like swim right up the hole? Yeah. A little bit of blue, itty bit of bluegill. Actually, probably the exact same fish you just had. <laughs> or is it similar no, to it? No, it looks a little bigger. Does it? Down you go, buddy. Tell the crappy we're ready for them. Please. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, here we go. I keep pulling up in hopes that. I'm gonna get a an up chase. Yeah. I have been getting up chase. Well, so for the two, the the one crappy that I've caught last time, it was like a very clear, like full on chase. It's not like yeah. you followed your jig passively. Like it chased it. Oh yeah. You just when you're in this type of water, you're deaf. You kind of have to go slowly and the pace fish yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, you're hitting the hole before the fish has a chance. It always gets me when they just they get up somewhere and they're like, mm, this doesn't feel right, and they swim back down. Yeah. Like, oh. And that's one of the huge bonuses of these fish finders, right? Yeah. Is that you do know, oh, it's going down. And you can learn next time. You're like, oh, that was too yeah. fast and too far for that fish yeah, to, for sure. to climb. Especially for something like lake trout that'll chase you 20 or 30 feet up. Right. You know, like, oh, I was too fast. And are they the type of fish that... They don't. They don't get the bends. Like trout don't. No, they have the ability to uh, burp. Burp to burp. Right? Yeah. So oftentimes, if you do have one on the line, if you see bubbles coming up your hole in advance, you're like, you know, you've fish. got a lake trout on, versus say a pike or a whitefish or something else. Because like, you know, is it 20, 20 feet? If you catch something from twenty feet, then and you're basically knowing you're going to keep it because it's not going to be. A, it's going to kill it. Yeah, roughly. that's right. That's part of why I don't like going too deep when targeting the crappy. Yeah. Well, this worked out for you well. This is a good spot yeah. here. 
Well, and that's what, like, because I was talking to my husband, and I and I kind of said, like, this is where we're going, and this is... And he, he's like, I really wouldn't expect to see them there, because what we, everything we've heard yeah. for Crappy is that you expect them to be in a big, deep basin, whereas, like, you dialed it in here pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's still just a big flat, and there's so much, I think, changing structure on this lake that this is... It's effectively because of the island kind of does function as a bit of a basin because it's a basin on three sides of us yeah and then it still stays flat for a ways in between that narrow there mm. yeah we'll see oh just a bluegill oh weird i watched that one swim up on my did you yeah And there, the big red you're seeing coming down is the fish that Alicia just released. <laughs> Swim back down to the bottom. Be free. There we go. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. This might actually be a bass. <laughs> it's pulling line on me here. We are actively trying to catch other fish. <laughs> These are just all bycatches, but... Yeah, it feels like a largemouth. Might be fun to come back here in the summertime to do some bass fishing. Yeah, lots of rock structure to fish on. It's still 10 feet under the ice and fighting like crazy. I find largemouth are normally uh, lazy fish. Don't fight this hard. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? I don't want to get that <laughs> chicken wrap in the thumb. Did you get yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I still think, come on, give me your lip. I got. Oh. <laughs> And some blood. Oh, oh, you got in your mouth. Yeah, it hit me right in the mouth. Oh, are you right? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I have a first aid kit now that they make bring them. <laughs> That's crazy. I was trying to avoid getting it in the hand and I got it in, in the face. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, let's just see, let's show the audience what we were using, anyways. So, word to the wise those guys are hooky. Hooky. <laughs> <laughs> I've never taken a lure at it pop out of a fish's mouth and hit me in the face before. <laughs> karma. I'm not kidding. Well, not yeah. karma. We're not doing anything bad. We're catching and releasing. Well, I've put enough holes in lips. I guess I deserve it. <laughs> it didn't chase up, though. It came straight from the side. Oh, a little perchy perch. Woo! Straight from the side. So did it just appear and you didn't get to see any mark? The line just kind of was at the level of my lure. Just And it went wider. from a thin white line to red to got a bite. Nice. So it seems that the days that we go out ice fishing without filming gear is when we get that big school of crappy and when we're ready to film we miss them. But it was still a great evening to be out for our last ice fishing excursion of 2023 and the best part was getting proof that Brad hooked himself on the lip with a jig and rub. Thank you for watching. If you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel and tap that notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way. See you next time.